Hello everybody, welcome back to Fine and Fire. My name is Ramsey and today we're going to be cooking jerk chicken. Chicken here. I've went chicken thighs, bone in. I've got this spice rub here. You want this to cover the chicken, completely coat it. Uh, so I'm not going to give you a teaspoon or a tablespoon. Just make sure it's nice and coated. That's had a nice coating, so we're just going to put this on the chopping board, get rid of the box. Then we're going to make some cuts just in the top. And when we put the spice marinade on there, it's going to go right into the, the chicken. You don't have to do this, but I think it makes a lovely result. And once you've made a couple of cuts, put it into your bowl, take off your gloves, and now we're going to make the marinade. Right, so for your marinade, you're going to want, now this is really important, you're going to want Scotch bonnet chilies, okay? It's classic, you've got to try and keep to the traditional recipe. So I'm gonna go one of those in there. Again, gonna go some spring onions in there. You want go half an onion. Just break up a little bit. That can go in there. And then another really important ingredient, well, these are all classic ingredients for the jerk chicken. I'm gonna get some nice fresh thyme in there. Right, that can go back in there. And last, and definitely not least, we wanna get our Jamaican jerk chicken spice rub back in there. The ingredient in here that you want to, you know, 100% use is all spice. That's what gives it its unique flavour, different to any chicken that you've had before. So we're going to go, I'd say, a couple of tablespoons of your rub in there. A little bit more for luck, eh? All right, and. You want a few glugs of oil. You want enough just till you kind of see it coming at the bottom. I'm going to put a little bit of veg oil in there as well. That'll help it from, to stop it from burning. I wouldn't worry much about salt if you're using one of these Jamaican jerk chicken spice rubs. All right, and we're just going to give this a good old spin up. And that smells incredible. Okay. 
and we just want to completely cover the jerk chicken. This is already starting to look amazing. Then we just want to get our hands rubbing in this chicken. And I tell you what, I think we need some nice Caribbean music playing. So we'll get that going. gloves and then we're going to want to put this back in the fridge for an hour or so you can leave it overnight it's probably best to leave it overnight but for today's video i'm just going to do it for an hour which is again perfectly fine right we're going to do a lovely little salad here so first of all i'm going to grab my knife oh, that would be a good start i'm going to slice up some peppers i'm going to cut these Nice and thin. Right, for this dressing, get yourself a whisk, a bowl, and a grater. First of all, I'm going to get the garlic. I got this amazing elephant garlic. You certainly don't need this. The only reason why I got this was because it was massive. And I thought, let's use this because it's fun. Give it a good crush so you can take the skin off it. You just want one one bulb, uh, one clove of garlic. These things are massive. I'm only going to use a quarter of this thing. <laughs> Smells incredible. And you're just going to grate your garlic. It's for dressing. You don't want, and if you've got a garlic crusher, you can use that as well. Right. And to make it even more fine, you can go over it with your knife. So it's nice and smooth. We can be pretty at the end when everything's all finished and ready to eat. That's when we can be pretty. A little bit chilly. Okay. These are jalapenos, so these are nice and mild. So I'm not actually. I'm just going to keep these like rings because they'll be nice in the salad itself. Lovely. Let's have a little try and see how they go. Mm. They are 
delicious. I wouldn't do that with the Scotch bonnets. We're gonna go very limey here. Yeah. So squeeze all your lime in here. I've went three limes. This is gonna, you know, give a nice kind of almost pickly taste to the salad. And it's gonna cut through the taste of the chicken and it's gonna work really well with it. We're also gonna do some lovely corn. I've got some nice sweet corn here, that's gonna go on the side. And I'm gonna do some grilled pineapple as well. So, this can be a lovely meal for you and your family. And then we're gonna go few glugs of veg oil and then we're going to whisk this up needs a little bit of a little bit of salt and then that's ready to go into your salad we won't put it on just yet we'll um, wait till we start getting our chicken grilling which we're just getting this fire lit and then at the end we'll just dress the salad so it's nice and fresh it's not soggy it's lovely okay so we're gonna start going and look at this chicken now right guys our coals hot we're ready to start cooking this jerk chicken and it's gonna be banging. We've got got some lemon smoking wood chips. Alright, so we're gonna get some of these on there. It's gonna work really well with the salad that we've done as well. So we're just gonna get a handful of this on top of your hot coals. Try your hardest. Not to get smoke in your eyes, but I know that's pretty much, you know, comes with part of barbecue, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, that's getting on there. No. Oh, no, this wood is starting to smell incredible. So we've got our chicken. We're gonna get this in there. I'm gonna go skin side down. Straight on there. We're going direct, straight on the fire, and then that way we're gonna get a nice, beautiful colour on that chicken. Good way to get rid of your gloves. Make sure you do it in your bowl so you don't get any juice on yourself. Put a chili in here, just on the smoke. It's gonna get nice in there. I'm gonna sprinkle some thyme over the chicken. Put a few spring onions in there. If you've got some lying around left over. Alright. And as you can see, 
we put our corn in there. This is lovely fresh corn. Beautiful. Straight from your veg man. We've got a nice pineapple in here that we've been char grilling as well. Yeah. And that's it. I know that we're in a, a time of struggle right now, but use your veg suppliers. Use them. They're close by. They're cheaper than your supermarkets. And once you get to know them, once you get to know your butcher, once you get to know your veg man, once you build a relationship with them, you'll get better products. It'll be cheaper for you. It's local, quicker, easier. And yeah, let's get cooking. Let's finish this up. Played it up, nice and beautiful. We'll dress our salad, add a little bit extra salt to it. And there we go, a lovely meal for your family. Here we go. Salad's made, chicken's just done in the grill, corn's done in the grill, pineapple's done in the grill. I'm going to take the chicken out now, I'm going to let it rest, and I'm going to start thinking about plating up. I think I'm going to do this on a nice black slate, or you could do it on a nice long wooden panel. Beautiful. Pick whatever you want. We're doing this for a family meal or whatever. This will feed two, three, four people, depending on how hungry you are. All right, so let's go. Let's play this up. This is all now just going to rest a little bit. Okay, and we're just going to finish dressing our salad. The dressing that you made earlier, beautiful. I did a touch a little bit more salt, so we're just going to add this to our beautiful salad. And then get your hands in there, with some gloves, and dress that up nicely. This all smells absolutely incredible. Alright, and if you see your salad needs a little bit more oil, make sure if you're doing a salad, extra virgin olive oil because it just tastes a lot better than veg oil. And if you're doing cooking, you want to use veg oil. Because if you use olive oil when you're cooking, well, it's a waste of money, essentially. So we're just going to pour this in, a nice little glug, just to finish it off. And then that is going to be beautiful. And we, oh, this all looks amazing. It smells absolutely incredible. I'm just going to get a fresh pair of gloves on because now we're going to plate up. When you're plating up, what you want to do is you want to think about threes, odd numbers. Odd numbers look better when you're plating up. And you want to think about colours, beautiful colours. Okay, so I'm going to use our black slate here. I'm just going to shift this all along a little bit so you can see what I'm doing setting up stage. So I'm going to grab some of this beautiful salad and we're just like photography you're going to think about lines so I'm going to put this beautiful salad here in a line across the plate then we're going to grab our beautiful chicken. I'm going to put that chicken here just across here and we see the lovely colours of the salad and this is going to amaze your guests so we have this beautiful colours here we have our pineapple I'm going to pop that in here like so this pineapple is going to go beautifully with the salad 
absolutely incredible. And we're going to put a little bit here, a little bit here. Chili here for garnish. Some spring onions. I mean, this looks absolutely incredible. I've got a little bit more corn here. I'm going to cut this up. three pieces and put that there put that here this one here a little bit more pineapple on top and guys I mean come on this looks absolutely amazing now if you want to feed a good family of people they're gonna love you after you feed them this Day. I think it's about time we get stuck into this. Let me just adjust the camera a little bit. I'm going to get stuck into this chicken. I can't wait to eat this. Oh, oh this is amazing. You guys. Mm. Incredible. It's it's almost got like a it's got chili, it's got sweetness, it's got a little bit of aniseed in there. It is incredible. Mm. Alright, enough of you guys.